Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe video. I um, don't know how well this lighting is going to hold up because I did not record this before the sun came up this morning, as I often do when I'm recording here at my apartment in New York. And now the sun is up and I have so much natural light coming in, I can't seem to get it all to work. And now my, uh, my production guy is back in California and he get really mad at me. Um, but there's nothing I can do about this. All I want is to talk about the market with you and not think about sound and lighting. And that's what happens whenever I leave those guys behind. Uh, they do it very well. Um, hence our great studio that they've built out in Newport Beach. But uh, I, yeah, I'm here in Manhattan and I got to get going here in a bit for my day of work. I have some meetings that will start up here before the market opens. Um, but in terms of this week, let me just kind of do first a bit of housekeeping. There's a special advice and insights podcast that I recorded yesterday about the tax reform, the impact on taxpayers one year later. Um, so not so much just what it's meant from an investment standpoint, although there's some of that covered as well. We talk about that a lot, but actual kind of peeling back the details around the, the impact on the tax bill on the individual tax side to individual taxpayers. I think it might be worth listening to. The um, Dividend Cafe podcast is up and it kind of walks through some of the details of this week's Dividend Cafe. But this week's Dividend Cafe does have a few charts as always. And so DividendCafe.com is where I always think you may get the best bang for your buck. And of course, the buck in this case is non-existent or shall we say metaphorical but here's here's uh what i will say there's a chart at dividend cafe this week about wage growth and where we are in the process of rising wages where we've been at past pre-recession points or or late innings in uh economic expansionary cycle i think is very interesting and worth looking at and kind of helps reinforce one of our thesis that we have some room to go for this late stage economic expansionary cycle to continue um, and that wage growth does not represent to us an inflationary threat to what's going on. As far as this week in the markets, again, I'm recording here Thursday morning before markets have opened and we do have um, uh, all day Friday, of course, you know, that could change things, but the markets are about 500 points on the week. Uh, it appears that a compromise bill is forthcoming that will avoid a second shutdown. Um, I think the earnings season has continued to really kind of come in quite strong. And you are getting a lot of really impressive dividend growth out of a lot of the companies that, that we follow closely. And so that's a byproduct, I think, of good earnings and a good outlook into the future. The earnings environment overall, the fourth quarter of 2018, appears that it will end up coming in at around 14% year-over-year earnings growth versus the year prior. Now, last year, it had been 24% earnings growth, and that's because it was against a different baseline when you had um, tax reform was, was brand new. Uh, I don't believe we're going into negative earnings growth in the first quarter or, or into 2019. I think that the threat of higher input cost from higher commodity prices and, and certainly the threat of higher borrowing cost around a continually tightening Fed seems to be reasonably subdued. And I think that just organically you're getting great revenue growth and great margins and that it appears the profit environment is still healthy. Um, as far as... The kind of general themes and so forth in the markets, I continue to recommend people be very cautious about Europe. And I want to sort of elaborate a little on that now. I, I print in Dividend Cafe this week the 10-year economic growth numbers comparing like China up 130% real GDP growth the last 10 years, India up I think 94, 96%. The United States up 34%. So compounding that's less than 2% a year. But again, um, when you compare it to the Eurozone, negative 2% growth over the last 10 years cumulatively versus 34% in the United States and, you know, the 100% India and China is really incredible, really incredible what um, is taking place and continuing to play out in Europe. And that's with the monetary bazooka of uh, monetary stimulus that they've tried out there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and let the video go short this week just because um, I have to run and there is such uh, additional information at DividendCafe.com. I want you to go to listen to the podcast. As you can see, the sun is becoming more of an issue as well. So let me let it go there. Reach out with any questions or comments. And uh, thank you so much for listening and viewing this week's Dividend Cafe.